to be told to you first at four. The Onondaga County District Attorney saying today he plans to appeal to the state's highest court to have former Dr. Robert Newlander's murder conviction upheld. On Friday, the state Supreme Court appellate division by a three to two vote set aside the 2015 guilty verdict based on juror misconduct. News Channel 9's Jeff Kulikowski talked with Bill Fitzpatrick today. Jeff, I, uh, I imagine he is not too happy with this decision. Uh, that's a polite way to put it. I would say very, very surprised, Rod and Christie. And yeah, I could also tell not at all very happy about the split decision in, former, uh, in favor of the former doctor. And apparently, he's not alone. I've gotten some angry emails from uh, some of the other 11 jurors today who are very, very upset with it. But I have to respect the decision and We'll see uh, if we're fortunate enough to get to the highest court. We'll see what those seven judges say. The DA's office would need one of the two dissenting judges to allow them to ask the Court of Appeals, the state's highest court, to hear their challenge to Friday's decision. The sole point of narrowly overturning the verdict comes down to juror misconduct. Back in May of 2015, about a month after a jury found the former doctor guilty of killing his wife and trying to cover it up, juror number 12 was thrust into the spotlight. She was publicly accused of misconduct for texting about the case with family and friends. Trial Judge Thomas Miller eventually held a hearing on the issue and then ruling a month later against Newlander's request to have his conviction overturned based on that juror misconduct. Three appellate judges disagree. What did the majority say that this juror did? What information was she given that prejudiced her against this defendant. Zero. Nothing. Uh, Fitzpatrick says this decision sets a bad precedent for every guilty verdict going forward, which is why he says his 61 colleagues around the state are likely to file a brief with the Court of Appeals supporting their case. Now, as for Robert Newlander, he has a bail hearing Monday in Onondaga County Court asking to be let out of prison while the Court of Appeal decides if that's what Fitzpatrick does or a new trial is set. Christy? We know you'll be fine.